Hey everyone, this is the Air 3, the latest drone from DJI, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on look at this drone. So I have heaps and heaps of real-world photo and video examples that we're gonna be taking a look at. The Air 3 features two cameras. The first is the main wide-angle camera, which is the full-frame equivalent of 24 millimeters. And the second is a three times medium telephoto camera with the full-frame equivalent of 70 millimeters. And wow, I really like them both a lot. I think this is such a good focal length combination for a drone, which makes it super versatile in a lot of different situations. The Air 3 films in up to 4K 60p, and I've labeled what frame rates I'm using in each clip. So I'm gonna get some shots in three times zoom and I'm just flying around and it looks so cinematic. It looks so cool. I've got the drone up in the air and I wanna show you what one time zoom looks like when I'm looking over there <laughs> and three times. <laughs> this is our filming setup. <laughs> in standard picture profile, here's a side-by-side -side shot of the one times and three times cameras. And as you can see, the image quality is very similar. The wide-angle camera has an aperture of f1.7 and the medium tele camera has an aperture of f2.8. I do want to mention that at the time of making this video, I don't have any ND filters to use with the Air 3. Just like the Mini 3 Pro, you cannot change your aperture while filming, so you have to use an ND filter if you want to film with shutter speeds to match your frame rate. This will help add motion blur to fast moving scenes. I've labeled which picture profile I'm using to film in. I did mostly use D-Log so I can capture footage with the most amount of dynamic range. I'm using my own conversion LUT and editing some of the clips with my colored LUTs too. If you want to see more, I'll leave a link to them in the description. I just got a whole bunch of shots on the three times camera and now when I switch back to the one times camera, it makes me realize how nice the three times camera compression looks when you're getting landscape, photo and video. I think this may be my favorite focal length for a drone yet. I am absolutely in love with this three times camera. As we already know, the one times camera is great for capturing stunning wide landscape shots that gives you the context of your shots as it captures the entire scene. The three times camera on the other hand, a medium telephoto focal length is able to capture the details of that landscape. By using the compression to your advantage, you can make particular aspects on your landscape stand out. So by having both these cameras together in one drone makes it so easy to tell a story with your shots. Not only that, but using this medium tele camera makes it so much easier and safer to capture shots of things you might not normally be able to with the wide angle camera. It's currently whale migrating season in Australia, so if you head to the coast, you'll most likely be able to see a whale. I was lucky to spot a couple and I managed to get a few shots of them with the three times, although they all seem to be in a bit of a rush, so it was hard to keep up with them when they dove underwater. While I was looking for whales, I saw something else splashing in the water and found this seal trying to catch dinner. He looks so amazing swimming and diving in the water and I think you'll be pleased to know that he did end up catching something to eat. I was so excited while I was capturing this footage of the seal and the whales. They are so amazing. Anyway, let's see how it compares. I also have the Mini 3 Pro and the Mavic 3 as well. So we're gonna fly all of them and get the exact same shot so we can look at it side by side and see where the Air 3 sits or flies, if you will. The Air 3 films in 420 10-bit and I think it sits right in the middle of the other two drones in terms of image quality. The Air 3 has more dynamic range and details in the shadows compared to the Mini 3 Pro. While I love the Mini 3 Pro and have been taking it with me on my travels recently, I do sometimes struggle with getting the right exposure in high dynamic range situations where we have areas in bright sun, but also lots of shady spots too. While the Air 3 is on par with the Mavic 3's dynamic range in my opinion, image quality of the Mavic 3 is clearer due to the Mavic's larger sensor size. I also noticed that the footage of the Air 3 is quite pink when comparing it to the other two drones and I found myself trying to balance it in post. Overall though, the image quality from both cameras in the Air 3 are great and easily usable. I have an idea for a photo. I want to go and stand in the lake and I'm going to get a shot with the drone in three times where you can only see water around me. Currently in a dress and it is the middle of winter. I just want you to know that. <laughs> Even though it's only like 16 degrees Celsius, so I'll be fine. Okay, let's go. Bye. I would also like to mention that this is not the first time that I've gone into this lake. This is like quicksand, Dan. <laughs> I'm stuck. 
This wasn't this difficult before. I don't know if this is gonna work. Let me try here. Cause last time the water was up to here, so I think we were walking on the... <clears throat> oh my God. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be a little bit easier because <laughs> you're just sinking constantly. It's really hard to make it look graceful. But now we're gonna get our three time shot here. I wanna try and get the reflection of the trees and I'm thinking if I stand in the shore, it might actually be a really nice shot. Let's jump into Lightroom and see how they turned out. We have two photo modes in the Air 3. We have 12 megapixel mode and we have 48 megapixel mode. And you can see the file size difference just here. I also took this three times photo of Dan and I, and then with the drone in the exact same spot, I also took this photo in one time. So you can see the difference in focal lengths between both cameras. So cool. Here's another three times photo I took and I'll zoom in so you can see the details and the sharpness here versus a one times photo that I took in pretty much the exact same spot. Again, I'll zoom in to 100% so you can see the details. So here we have the one times photo I took at the lake. I wish the lake was higher so you couldn't see all that mud and like the seaweed and stuff. It doesn't look that good. So I'm gonna have to try this concept another time. If you ignore all of that, it would have been a nice photo if you imagine it all look like this. Focus is nice and sharp on me though. I really like what that looks like. I have noticed that in some harsh lit photos, there is a fair amount of purple and pink fringing. So I will just remove that when I'm editing in Lightroom. This is one of the three times photo. Again, it's nice and sharp, but you can see a bit of fringing because it is backlit, but we have lots of nice details in this photo. I actually really like this three times photo I took in Marubra. It's so clear, even though we do have some nice hazy backlight, which I think is so pretty. And I just like to edit that with my Amalfi preset and bring down the exposure a little bit. And it looks so pretty. In terms of data recovery, we do have a fair amount of details in these files. So here is a three times portrait I took of Dan and I. I'm gonna start by bringing up the shadows of those rocks there, then increasing the overall exposure and bringing down the highlights just a little bit. I also have this one times photo. So again, let's start by bringing down the highlights to recover the clouds here. Then I'll bring up the shadows to increase the exposure of the trees. And then let's bring down the black slider to add a bit of contrast and increase the contrast slider as well. And here's a before and here's an after. The F3 has omnidirectional sensors, which is great to see. It's also a fairly small drone considering its capabilities. It's slightly smaller than the Mavic 3 and a bit bigger than the Mini 3 Pro. It weighs 724 grams, making it an easy drone to travel with. I know I'm personally going to be choosing taking this drone over the other two for my next trip coming up in August. There have also been some subtle changes to the RC. The most obvious one are the new antennas. I'm not doing any technical tests, but I did notice the reception of the Air 3 and the quality of the stream is higher and more stable than the Mini 3 Pro. The Air 3 has up to 46 minutes of flight time. I find this is a perfect amount of time to capture photo and video without feeling too rushed. We're gonna try out some tracking shots next. You can track in the one times camera, but you can also track with the three times camera, which is so handy because when you're using a medium telephoto camera, it's a little harder to keep track of something manually. This drone does a great job at tracking a moving subject in both one times and three times. In one times, it keeps the footage looking smooth, even when the subject is hidden behind some thing and works well on both fast and slower moving subjects. I also tried it out in a very bushy area and obstacle avoidance is amazing. It got into a really sketchy area with lots of tree branches, but it managed to survive without hitting into anything. Next we have tracking in three times, which overall does an amazing job as well. And like I mentioned, I really love that we have the option to track a subject in this medium tele camera. This was something that was missing for me with the seven times in the Mavic 3. When Dan is hidden behind the trees, the drone still manages to find him afterwards and continue tracking him, but it can look a little jolty at times. I also find that tracking in three times is better with medium to slow paced subjects. When Dan started going down 
downhill really fast, it was struggling to keep up with him at one point and ended up losing him. I did mention earlier in the video how three times looks so cinematic. This shot of Dan and I walking on the beach looks like a scene out of a movie. That is all I have for today's video on the Air 3. Let me know what your favorite shots were in the comments and if you enjoyed this review or if you have any questions. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you all next time. Bye.